Welcome. In a comical Christmas message video for children of parents who died while serving in the British Armed Forces, Prince Harry appears as Spider-Man. But before we continue, are you interested in starting or scaling a YouTube channel without having to show your face or becoming a traditional YouTuber to earn $30,000 a month? Click on the link below for more information. The Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, disguised as Spider-Man, made a special Christmas video greeting for a charity for grieving military children. The prince taped a Christmas greeting for the non-profit Scotty's Little Soldiers while fully costumed as Spider-Man. Over 100 young children who had witnessed the death of a parent who had served in the British Armed Forces were shown the film. In the humorous yet endearing film, Prince Harry made an appearance while disguised in the Spider-Man suit, wishing the kids a happy holiday. Scotty's Little Soldiers, hello. The Duke of Sussex greeted them and said, Welcome to the Christmas party. He then gave them the mission to stop the villains who had stolen Father Christmas presents in order to save Christmas. During the party with a heroes and villains theme, the kids completed tasks. Before tonight's excitement, I hope you all got some rest. There are five villains that you guys need to stop from destroying Christmas, according to what I've heard from Sharky and George. To ensure that you do this, combine your teamwork, intelligence, and strength. Okay, find them and stop letting them spoil Christmas. But in a touching message to the kids, the prince added, Christmas is also a time when we shall truly, really miss our loved ones. It's okay that way. However, it is also possible to feel guilty for enjoying ourselves without our parents. But I can promise you that our parents always want us to enjoy ourselves, okay? The Scotty's Little Soldiers community is the perfect place to have the time of your life, so don't feel bad about it. Therefore, go out. There and have the best time, and, the Duke of Sussex said, the prince then added, Merry Christmas, before removing his mask and revealing himself to the kids. In November, the prince collaborated with the organization to write letters to kids in honor of Remembrance Day. The prince claimed he has a connection to the grieving kids since he too had lost a parent in his message from November to the grieving kids. The Duke of Sussex has, however, previously dressed up for the charity to present a touching Christmas message. He dressed up as Santa in 2019 for the charity, sporting a lengthy white beard. Harry and Scotty's little soldiers have a long-standing friendship, and they expressed their sincere gratitude for his continuing support. When Harry met with kids whose parents died while serving in the British Armed Forces in 2017, he also stood up for the military charity. He invited families who had lost loved ones in the military to a party at Buckingham Palace with the then Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The prince met with about 800 children whose parents died while defending their country in battle. The prince is a military veteran who served in Afghanistan for two tours over a 10-year period. The release of a divisive Netflix documentary, which is scheduled to air on Thursday, has put Prince Harry and his wife Meghan in the public eye. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's relationship will be chronicled in the six-part documentary series in a way that has never been done before, including admissions from friends and family members who had previously refrained from discussing their whirlwind romance. In another news, Hillary Clinton will honor Sophie Wessex before Meghan and Harry's award presentation. The Countess of Wessex is visiting the U.S. for the second time this year. The Countess of Wessex recently visited the United States for a few engagements, following the Prince and Princess of Wales' visit to Boston. Former U.S. Secretary of State and First Lady Hillary Clinton will honor the low-profile princess during the trip for her efforts to increase awareness of gender-based violence and support women in business. The Georgetown Institute for Women, Peace, and security will host the 2022 Hillary Rodham Clinton Awards later today, which will be hosted by Mrs. Clinton. Thanks for watching.